everyone, my name is Mika D. Isidore from Great to Apple. The title of the story that I read is The Best Thing Ever, adapted from a story by Melissa Fagan and Stefania Origi. What was the story all about? The story is all about a boy who is fond of recycling things. Everything turns into something because of his creativeness. What did he build from the things he found? In this story, Mark found different things like long and short things, square and round things, short and pointy things, green and brown things. Out of this, he recycled it and built a little house for his grandmother. If you were Mark, what would you build? Why? If I were Mark, I would make the same thing that he did. Also, I'll build something useful like pen holder, toys, or anything that can be used or store things. Moral lesson. I admired Mark were being imaginative and creative. At this early age, it is really important that we learn how to recycle things. Remember, recycling is like magic. that turns things into something terrible. That's all. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, my name is Mika D. Isidore from Way to Apple. The title of the story that I read is A Cloud of Trash, adapted from a story by Karen Jeet Kaur. What is the story all about? The story is all about a girl named Cassie who spawned old littering and never listened to her mother. Until... Very unhappy things happened to her. Why was she the unhappiest girl? Because she had no friends anymore. Nobody wanted to play with her. Everyone avoided her because of the foul smell, buzzing flies that she's carrying. What happened to her? Since she never listened to her mother and kept on littering, one day she woke up with a cloud of trash hanging over her head. She was carrying all the trash that she littered. How was she able to solve her problem? One day, when she saw Brian throwing banana peel on the road, she told him to throw it in the trash can for someone might slip. Then her cloud of trash became smaller from that moment, she realized what to do. She began to keep the cleanliness in the village until one day, her cloud of trash disappeared. If you were Cassie, what would you do to have a clean environment? For little kids like me, I could help to clean the environment by not littering. Throw the trash directly to the trash can that little help can be a big help to maintain the cleanliness of our environment. That's all. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Mika D. Isidore from Grade 2 Apple. The title of the YouTube video that I watched is The Doorbell Ram. What is the YouTube video all about? The video is all about cookies made by Victoria and Sam's mom for them, but ends up sharing with their relatives and friends. How do you feel when someone shares with you? It really feels great when someone shares something with me, like for example, sharing a secret. It makes me feel that I'm a trustworthy person. If someone shares food or toys, 
I feel like I'm the very special person on earth. So guys, please, share as long as you can. Because you might not know how much you can make someone happy when you share. That little gesture might be a big deal for someone. Remember, sharing is caring. What would they have? Done if the last person had not. Been grandma arriving with. More cookies. I think if the last person was not grandma, but another set of friends, I guess their mom will cut the cookies into several pieces so that everybody could eat, even a small amount. Good thing that it was Grandma who came with plenty of cookies. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, this is Mika Isidoro from Grade 2 Apple. I'm here to share with you my insights about the YouTube video that I watched, titled, The Doodles Find Fuel. What is the YouTube video all about? The video is all about the three-episode story of a stranded creature who ran out of fuel for their spaceship. Then they search for alternative source of fuel to get food. Can you think of some ways that you can use less fuel in your daily life? I think we could make use of electrical or battery-operated devices. Like for example, in going somewhere, we could use or ride an electric vehicle. In cooking, we could use an electric stove. Electricity is an alternative fuel. With this, we could improve fuel economy and lower fuel cost. This will benefit not only us, but the whole planet. We could avoid air pollution and we could have a cleaner environment. If you could invent a new kind of fuel, how would it work? I guess I'll try to study and experiment the rainwater as a new kind of fuel. I don't know how it would be possible, but I want to maximize its use. Imagine how happy and excited people will be every time it rains because they're going to use it as fuel. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye! Hello everyone. My name is Mika D. Isidoro from Grade 2 Apple. The title of the YouTube video that I watched is The Great Big Turnip. What was the story all about? The story is all about an old man who planted a seed that grew into a great big turnip. And since he cannot pull it by himself alone, he asked help from an old woman, an old cat, and a young mouse. Then they had a great time eating together the food out of it. Why did the man want to plant a turnip? An old man wanted to plant it because he's excited to try different kinds of food out of the turnip plant, like turnip bread, turnip soup, and turnip jam. What moral lesson can we get for the story? The moral lessons in the story are, first, importance of teamwork. Work can be easily done if we work together hand in hand. Second, don't hesitate to help those who need help. Third, whatever kindness you offer to someone will return to you.
If you were the old man, what seed are you going to plant? Why? If I were the old man, I will plant a coconut seed. Just like the turnip, it has plenty of food that you can make out of it. Like coconut juice, flour, butter, milk, and a lot more. Thank you for watching. Bye!